What's up, my people? It's your boy, Kyrie's Clark, here live at five, 10 o'clock on the dot, like always. How, how's everybody doing today? Um, DeWan said at 7.46 that, I'm sorry, but Hope is not Douglas's mother. She ain't Caroline Spence, and I agree with that wholeheartedly, 100%, which led to tonight's question. Do you think Thomas will get full custody of Douglas? I mean, I bet... Look, I'm kind of like mixed about that though, because Tom has got a whole lot of issues that I still haven't necessarily forgotten about. However, I never agreed with Hope adopting Douglas to begin with because Thomas manipulated this situation for this to be like this. So, and he wasn't in his right mind, in my opinion. So, I'm happy that he's. Finally putting Douglas first in a way, it's about freaking time. He should have been putting Douglas first since the very beginning. That's what he should have done. He should have put Douglas first. Hey, Melanie. I'm so happy to see you today. Hey, CJ Club 18. How are you? Do you think that um, CJ Club 18, do you think that Thomas is going to get full custody of Douglas? I'm very happy to see Melanie and CJ Clove 18 up in here. I watched all four soap operas today. And they all were good in their own way. I watched tomorrow's episode of Young and the Restless. It's good. Yeah, I saw that. I read it too. Hey, LaShanta. How are you? I didn't watch today's episode of B&B. Yeah, Steffi's pushing hard for Doug for Thomas to leave town with Douglas. Um, I hope that I kind of hope that he does because, like I said, Hope should have never had any custody of Douglas to begin with. She should have never. He said, "Well, good for her." Sonny's a hip Sonny's a huge hypocrite. Okay, a humongous hypocrite. But I hate Michael, too. So, um, I can see why Sonny doesn't like Michael. Because for a solid year, Sonny was the one that had to grovel to Michael. But now Michael has to grovel to Sonny. I think turn about fair play. Let Sonny keep giving Michael the, the cold shoulder. Judas. Michael's a Judas. Okay? He is. But I'm hoping that Thomas does take Douglas, but right, I hate how Caroline was a race. Me too. Like, Caroline is that boy's mother. She gave birth to that boy. She raised that boy. She she ruined her body. She ruined her body for her for that boy. She she potty trained him. She did all that, all right? She teed him. She did everything, all right? Michael looks like he's not good in bed. He sure do. Tomorrow's episode of GH is going to be good. Oh, yes. Danny Morgan need to keep his hands to himself. Hope isn't the mother. She, You're right, Dewan. She's not his mother. And I'll never treat her as his mother because she's not. Caroline is. I'm just saying. Hey, last day. Hope is not Douglas's mother. All right. So, because if you recall, when um, when when Hope was growing up, she used to act like Ridge was her father, but yet he wasn't. So, and you see now, he don't f with Hope now. No, Danny needs to put his hands on Jake, period. And Jake better beat Danny Danny Morgan's behind. I don't know who Danny Morgan think he is. Their dad's a piece of crap. Michael need to stop begging. Stop because Sonny killed AJ and he wanted forgiveness. And did he get it overnight? No. I love that Lily made it crystal clear in front of him. 
of Daniel and Heather is terminated immediately and will get a severance pa package and then says, Daniel, you betrayed me. Hey, hey, Kyrie's turnabout is truly fair play. Michael Carrentos, exactly. Thomas gets full custody of Douglas. Well, since his mom died and he doesn't have a mom, yes, because he's his only parent. Exactly. Danny Morgan is a good... Stop with the lies, Dewan. Stop with your lies. Jake was with Elena for a few years. I could see him break, beating the brakes off of Danny. Me too. Ava is a snake. He, Nina, watch out. Yeah, Ava's my girl, but you can't trust Ava Jerome. You cannot trust Ava Jerome. Danny will wipe the floor with Jake. In what world? Jake got the height and the muscle on Danny. So, Danny, he about to get it. At Kyrie's, hey, Alicia4801. Danny Morgan's about to, about to catch these hands, and I'm here for it because I'm team Jake all the way. I'm glad he's calling out his deadbeat daddy. Because Jason may not be psycho, but he damn sure is a deadbeat. He's a deadbeat. Daddy. Uh, no good. I like Ava and Sunny, but she's a little sus right now. Yeah, she is. I can't trust her. Stop with your lies talking about my Ava. Well, she is my Ava, but she can't be trusted. You can't trust a heifer like Ava. Ava was wild walking around in her lingerie in front of... Like it was her house. She was showing Michael and Sonny everything. Well, as she, sh well, my Ava look good now. Wink, wink. And hey, Albert, how are you? Um, I'm gonna send when I when I'm done with this stream. I gotta, I gotta, I, I'm gonna respond back to you to me to message because I do gotta address something with you real quick. But, um, but thank you, but thank you, but it's so good to see. But it's so good to have you here. But I, I I'm a, I'm a um, look out for you for a message on Messenger. I'm gonna message you tonight. Jake should not call nobody psycho. Jake did um. Jake did what he had to do. It was Helena's fault of why Jake used to be psycho. Jake got his life together. And then Dewan said, "Sup at Albert Bosick," and then Ava looks good, but. We, you busted it wide open for father and son. That's insane. Well, um, at least she she stopped at one father and son, unlike Brooke, who had two brother, who had the brother and the other brother. Was Ava in lingerie? Did I miss that? I know. Well, she was looking good in that black robe. Um, and then Melanie says that Kyrie's I loved the heart to heart conversation with Adam and Sally on the heartbreaking issues that Connor is dealing with. And I also love Sally comforting Adam in his arms. I'm talking about Charlotte. What about Charlotte? I forgot about Charlotte lately and she's a demon seed, but I forgot all about her. I'm kind of glad I forgot about her because she'd be getting on my nerves. Like, she's a demon seed. She truly is. She need to get her life together. But my thing, but my thing with um Steffi, though, is are, 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 did Steffi ignoring the elephant in the room? I mean, Hope does technically still have legal rights to Douglas right now because of Thomas's stupid mental health disorder. So did Steffi plan on getting Carter on, on the line real quick? What are you talking about? I was right on time. I came in here at 10 o'clock on the dot. You were the one that was late, Spider Quick. But I'm glad someone finally admits that Hope isn't Douglas's mother. I felt that way from day one. I'm catching up on YNR from last week. What do you think about Sally and Audra becoming friends? Audra needs some female friends, in my opinion. Yo, Audra looks good. I'm not going to lie. Audra looks good. Today, she was looking scrumptious in that pink. I'm like, mm. By the way, F these soaps for one minute. Did you watch Raw? Yeah, I watched Raw yesterday. I saw what happened with The Rock beating Cody Rhodes. I got mad, so I fast forwarded it. Um, but And I saw CM Punk, Drew McIntyre, and the other one, and Seth Rollins. 
That was good. And I saw Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley. That was good, too. Um, but I had to watch GH on the down low today because I live in Baltimore. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to hear about that, um, about that bridge collapsing. I have a feeling that Audra and Nate will end up sleeping together after telling Tucker it's over. Bro, what the F you fast forwarded the best part? I said I fast forwarded it, but I still saw it. I just didn't see what hear all what he was saying. Hope used to get Tom to sign, used to get Tom to sign the paper. I saw that crap too. That's crazy. It collapsed. Yes. But I'm happy that Alicia's safe. Better Audra to be a friend to Sally than her other friend that hate Adam too much. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Um, that was the only thing I liked about Ava and Nina as friends. They don't have any female friends. Cuz, they're females that can't be trusted. Bro, why the F you skipped that? What got you that mad? Because, um, I wanted Cody Rhodes to hit him back a few times. I mean, I get The Rock hit him from behind, but Cody Rhodes is big. He got some muscle. He could have at least punched The Rock back a few good times, and then got his ass whooped. But just seeing Rock beating him down like that, and then he started bleeding and crap, I'm like, come on, quit treating Cody like he's your bitch. Get up and smack his ass back. I'm glad Audra just getting her just dessert. Me too. But um, her just dessert, being humbled, really looks good on Audra Charles. Um. I've been waiting for Audra to get with Nate since she got over Noah. They look good together. Audra Winters has a nice ring to it. It does. You know how it works. The Rock can't lose. Cody will get his payback, though. Well, when he does, I'm here for it. But until then, I fast-forwarded that part. Um, Melanie says that, Kyrie, I really don't care about Alex and Kristen making Brady and Teresa jealous, but it was funny that Alex rejected Teresa, but she started making it first by moving out. Um, what's going on with Cody Rhodes and The Rock? Um, The Rock effed up Cody Rhodes on Raw last night, and I didn't want to see it after a while. You see Cody getting effed up in the pouring rain on the ground, bloody. All right, but um, back to what Melanie was saying, I do agree that it is pathetic that Kristen, who's a solid six is going after a four. He, Brady is a four and nothing more. So I'm not getting why Kristen is doing all these games and stuff to get him back when he's not really worth it. Um, Spider Quick has a point. It's in the Rice contract and all his movies and stuff. It's true, but I'm just saying, all, Cody didn't have to put up too much of a just, I'm just saying, if Cody would have gotten like one or two hits in, I, I would have been good with that. Just one or two hits, because first of all, they're not really hitting each other anyways. It's all pre-rehearsed. So just one, two good hits, and then he could have gotten his, his ass beat. Then I would have been okay with that. The Rock got his new Black Adam type entrance and everything. Yeah, but all those soap operas was good. But um, Steffi is right, though. Hope is very self-centered. Like she said, the only thing she cares about is Tom, is that Thomas is devoted to her and only her, because if another man is, it could be the librarian down the street. Um, it could be the man that works at Stop and Shop. If he's all for hope, she might drop her panties for him, too. Like, just because she chose to be with some waffling loser, Kyrie, you have to recheck your math because Kristen is a solid eight. An eight? This Kristen? Kristen Demera, an eight? An eight? And eight. 
I don't think so. She's a six, a solid six. Hope like Mommy Dearest, an eight. I'm predicting that Jason will never work for Sunny again. I'm hoping so, because Sunny doesn't love anybody but himself after a while. I mean, he loves his daughters and Morgan and Dante, sort of. Eight and, and not eight, LOL. Oh, Ivy is coming back to BNB. I hope she drops that phony accent. It's It was annoying. Kristen is a four, LOL. No, Brady's a four. Brady is going to stay a four. I split the difference. She's a seven and a half. A seven, maybe. Okay, I could I could maybe bump her up to a seven. Well, not to me. She's still probably a six. Maybe a six and a half. But a seven is more reasonable than an eight because she's definitely not an eight. What would Jason do for a living if he doesn't go back to the mob? He can go back to ELQ. How about that? None of uh, yeah. <laughs> now he bumped her down to a nine. He bumped Diane down to a nine, even though she's way lower than that. But um, he bumped her down to a nine. But Diane is about a four. Now, Diane's a five. Diane's a solid five. I'll give Diane a solid five. You know, he was never at ELQ before his accident. He was studying to be a doctor. Yeah, it's a little it's a little late for him to go back to med medical school now, though. That would be a little late for that. He's a little long in the tube for that. However, um, the only thing I'm really interested in Jason being is a dad. He needs to get both of these boys in line. Danny Morgan needs to keep his hands to himself, and Jake is going to have to handle him real quick tomorrow. So since Danny want to be sucker punching, Diane's a, a zero, Stella's a one. Watch your mouth, little boy. Stella Henry is no one, okay? She is about... Stella is great. Now, Danny going to beat Jake's behind. A dad with a respectable line of work. He don't need to work. He got money out the what up out of everywhere. Kyrie, I thought that it was hilarious seeing Ashley as a little girl with pigtail. Ooh. And binge watching, but turns into sassy personality and lashes out at Jack and Tracy. Diane is a 20. Stop with the lies, Alicia. Jake gonna wanna be a B and think his dad bad. Well, his dad is bad. His dad's not there for him. Jake's a dumbass. No, Danny Morgan is. Danny Morgan needs to take re lessons from Danny Ramalotti. How to be a gentleman. Yeah, I'm here for Danny too. Okay, but Danny, y'all, 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 mark my words when Jake beats Danny's ass tomorrow. Willow and them are gonna have to come drag, drag um Jake off of Danny's little stupid ass. I can't wait for it. All right, I'm gonna be like I told y'all so. I'm here for Danny too. All right, uh, all y'all gonna get disappointed when Jake beat that ass. Jake is the big brother here. Let's not forget that. He got, he got, I'm telling you what I know. Jake is going to win. Washed up rock star. You watch it, LaShanta. You know Danny's a good man. He's a very good man. Why can't the average see that Ashley lost her damn mind? Oh, she can, Tracy knows that she lost her mind. Um, Because she lost her mind the second she thought Tucker was attractive enough. I'm like, come on. Tucker? Really? She going to lose her mind like that over Tucker? In Spider-Quake, that joke is dead. So every time you mention his name, I'm going to delete 
your message. And then if you keep crossing the line and keep bringing up his name, then eventually I'll have to find a way to ban the word somewhere. I'm going to find a way to ban that name somehow. I'm that petty. Jack is always trying to save Ashley's ass from herself, but she don't listen because she got problems. Jake would be like, I'm going to tell your mama that that vape was yours. No, Jake is going to beat him down. I loved it that the fire alarm prank that Phyllis pulled out did not stop Danny and Christine making love upstairs. Me too. I'm glad they still got to get their freak on. What is Hope going to say? Caught a cop saying, someone kidnapped my son. Who, who his dad? Can a dad even kidnap your own ch children? Um, I don't know who Mia's dad is. I don't think Mia know, knows either. Who, who knows who that little white or gray fella is? Who knows? Um, also, F-ball, we're talking GH. I'm throwing up on the inside. Throwing up on what? That Christine looks better than Phyllis? Is that what you're throwing up about, Lashanta? You just got to accept the truth. Christine looks better than Phyllis. I don't even like Christine. I'm talking about you. It's your cat. I know. That's what I'm talking about, too. I don't know who who knocked up the mama cat years ago. Yep, depending on the custody reader, they could charge biological parents with kidnapping. Never. Always. Christine does look better than Phyllis. Jack needs to stop trying to save Nikki from the drunk, from being a sloppy drunk. I can't wait until for the showdown between Jada and Steph. They're going to have a showdown for what? Well, I'm going to call it a night. I'll be on the lookout for your DM. Good night, Kyrie, and everyone. Yes, good night, Albert. Um, Hope knows that she is screwing Thomas to keep his kid. Exactly. She needs to get over it. It's not her kid. She should be glad that Beth, she has Beth and... She was a temp she should just be a temporary guardian and she should have been called at a quits. Thomas should have been had his kid back. Christine doesn't even have any eyebrows. Danny was making love to a Q tip. Not a Q tip. Not a Q tip. Look, I told you, Christine and Danny. I don't even like Christine. Though. I really don't. I got to stop pretending like I like her when I really don't. Hope is a Logan. She is never satisfied. Truer words have never been spoken. Kyrie, I called my friend Nikki Newman. She's a drunk. She is a drunk. Ridge would pretty, was pretty funny in this episode how he kept telling Hope how horrible she was. The best part was when she had told her that the ring around her neck is weird and bizarre. All right. Brooke hate Tom. Have a seat. Exactly. Brooke does hate Thomas. Like, that's my thing with Brooke. She will do anything she can to side with Hope, no matter what it is. When she knows damn well, she can't stand Thomas. But whenever it doesn't fit her narrative about these evil lo about um, whenever something doesn't fit her narrative, this is what she does at each and every time. Those Logans always act like they're the victims when they know they're not. What Hope is doing is dead wrong. She's playing on Thomas's emotions like this. It's not right. Thomas is a mentally unbalanced middle-aged man. Kyrie's Ava was effing dumb today. Kyrie, if you proposed to a woman and she told you no, but I will put it around my neck, would you dump her? Yep. I'd be like, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya no more. It's going to get worse with Hope and Steffi on their confrontation still going till Friday, March 29th, to, and next week, April 1st to April 5th. I remember Hope told Ridge 
he wasn't her dad. Like, she's not Douglas. Uh Uh-huh. When did Jason and Karen Wexler date? Got to be some point in the 90s or 80 or late 80s. Hey, Amber, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, did you love your soaps today? I'm telling you, Hope's next victim is Finn. Oh, absolutely. So Steffi thinks she's getting a temporary victory right now, but all she's doing is going to make the Logans go Logans, and then now they're going to do everything they can to take Finn away from Steffi. So she's going from one headache to another. I can't wait till this darn tour starts so I can say goodbye to Danny, Christine, and maybe the rest of the Ramalati's good riddance. You are wrong for that, Darby. Brooke want hope with Liam together because she wants Bill. I can't stand Brooke. She's tr- going to try Steffi. She can't win. They better not. Be gone, Finn. He can't be that stupid. I hope he's drunk or high. Who's drunk or high? Hope is going to get into a relationship with Ivy. That's nasty. That wouldn't even be hot for me. Jason and Karen never dated as far as I know, so what was Jagger talking about? Probably another rewritten story. Hey, Nikisha! Queen Nikisha! Everybody say what's up. Nikisha says, good evening, listening to y'all from work. Hope everyone is having a good night. I'm having an excellent night now that I see the beautiful Queen Nikisha, the Beyonce of this group. Um... Bill rocked Brooke's world, but in order to keep her Forrester, is she got to keep Ridge. Mm-mm. Brooke will have any man with a pulse, though. So Brooke doesn't. No man that Brooke gets with will ever surprise me. Y'all got passions canceled. Alaba, where's Jack, Queen Jessica? I saw her before. She'll come when she's good and ready. Brooke feel like. She took Ridge, so that's why she fought for Liam. Hello, Nikisha. You have been missed. Yes. Indeed. However, if Hope sleeps with Finn, Lee will will be on her ass and maybe get off Poppy's back for once. That's true. And then Darby13 says thank you to Melanie. And Melanie says hey to Nikisha as well. Um... It's the truth. Hey, Darby, I missed y'all too. Indeed. But I'm I'm really happy about one thing about Sonny's attitude is that he finally is pushing back against Michael this time. Because usually whenever Michael gets mad at Sonny, I'm, Sonny just lets Michael do whatever he wants. Like when Michael took Avery away, Sonny didn't do anything to him until Michael got out of his feelings later. When Michael made legit moves against his business, Sonny didn't do crap about it. Now Michael tried to put him in jail. Now Sonny's mad and treating him like crap. However, I'm surprised that Ava hasn't at least once said, you know, this was how it ended between me and Kiki. She slept with Griffin, and I treated her like crap. So you really want this to be the last you ever see of Michael? Is to Michael to think that you hate him? I'm surprised Ava hasn't said that one time. But probably because she has her own angle. Bridge was beautiful. I saw a picture of Tridge until they rewrote history. Maybe Jason can rescue Liz from Finn, please. I said the same thing the other day. Anything to get Elizabeth away from Finn. Finn is where chemistry goes to die. He is such a boring character. He is beyond boring and pedestrian. Because Loki, she wants Sunny to only depend on her, which is for Avery's sake. I don't want Ava and Sunny to have sex, but if they do, I'm ready for Nina to go full crazy. Oh, yeah, Nina is going to go nuts. 
She about to go Ninets for real. Tridge was beautiful, Taylor and Ridge. Uh, yep. Yeah. But Finn is sexy. Which Finn are we talking about here? Because for both of them, that's debatable, but I know we ain't. But um, CJ Club 18, I need, I need some context, though. Which Finn are we talking about? Hamilton Finn or Finn Finnegan? Both of those are kind of debatable to me, but one way worse than the other. Oh, what if Ava is playing the long game to get custody of Avery again? Probably. Which is so stupid the writers are doing that. I mean, she already had joint custody. Like, why did they change their mind every 10 seconds? One minute she has joint custody. The other minute, Sunny has primary custody. Then they have joint custody again. Then Sunny just... But she already has it. So, like, stop with the nonsense. I'm sick of Jason's storylines, though. Jason is going to have a trial because he doesn't want to talk. Same story. From B&B. Okay, so does everybody else think that Finn from B&B is sexy? Um, to me, he's nice looking, but I don't want to say sexy. Did you mean Bridge as in Brooklyn Ridge the one? Never. Finn is going to have a terrifying hallucinations about Sheila, and the story is not over yet. Darby says, not really. Sunny still has primary custody. Ava told Nina that at the gallery. Yeah, that was recently, but Diane said a while ago that they had joint custody, so the writers changed their mind again. And then they sat in Austin and said, oh, yeah, nobody can go full crazy like Ava. Nina had better watch out. I still believe she let the kid... Snap and go. I hate bridge. Every time I see Finn, I think Liberty, Liberty. Oh, <laughs> oh. But yeah, Sunny still has primary custody, but she gets to see Avery all the time now. So why rock the boat? When, when the way these writers are doing, she's gets she'll drop Avery back off at Carly's house any damn way. So just stop it. If they want to let Sonny and Ava sleep together, just let them sleep together. Finn always have a dumb blonde look on his face. Because I was afraid you were talking about Baltimore, Dewan. Oh, yeah. Once again, I'm sorry for everybody that's in Baltimore. I'm sorry to hear that. Finn isn't finding me on BNB. He looks AI-generated. L O L. It's funny. But yeah, he, to me, he, he looks fine, but not sexy, though. Who was Jason protecting, himself or Carly or Sonny? I must have missed who the RICO charges were against. They never revealed for certain, but I'm pretty sure it's Carly. Carly would, make, would be the only one that makes sense. Um... That would be all that makes sense because why would he be doing that to protect Sonny when he knows that Pikeman, he's working with them and they're trying to kill Sonny anyway. So that's the point. They might as well would have just let Sonny go to jail. At, at, at this point, just let Nina loose on Sonny, Ava, Carly, Jaws, and anyone who gets in her way because this Jason comeback is shit. I agree with that. And Finn on GH looks like a recovering alcoholic. What about Michael, who Jason is protecting? Michael never did no RICO charges. I'm looking forward to sex between Sunny and Ava, despite everything. I mean, I'm not really too happy about that. She did switch his son's medication. So how much lower could Sunny go? I didn't think Sunny could get that much lower. But it's Sunny, so I'm not surprised. I can't wait until Nina gets her just dessert from her BFF, the one that coached Nina on breaking up Carly and Sonny. Imagine the Rico charges were against Liz or Sam or one of Jason's kids. No. Wink, wink, facts. Ava versus Nina. Who'd win Kyrie's Clark? 
Ava, but step, I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll have to see. If it's Carly, that'd be dumb as F. Um, Michael did run Sunny's business for a time. When? Maybe Carly when she ran Sunny's business. That's the only time that makes sense. That's the timeline. Y&R was good today. Days was good. GH was fine. B&B just sucks. Ava will whip Nina's ass on GH. I mean, in a in an ideal wor world, yeah, but I don't know. With the writers these these days, you never know. If this is 2014, Ava, yes. But Curly ain't even do anything that illegal though. They could always rewrite history, and she did blow up Sh Cyrus's shipment. But they could always rewrite history. Um, and add she did something else. But that's the only one that makes sense, that it was Carly that he's protecting, because, of course. But Curtis got his... Um, if I didn't know any better, I would say... What, Will that ha will they have um sex in the, in a cemetery this time, or is the quarter main crypt still available? Uh uh, no Queen Nikisha. I think Ava Jerome has been upgraded to a bed this t these days. Kyrie's, did you see days today? I absolutely did. I just watched it right before I started streaming. Um, like I said, I find Kristen to be pathetic because Brady is a four at best. Can we talk about? how they did Brit dirty by breaking her death to Jason and passing. She died a hero and nobody gives her the flower she deserves in death. Anna is something else. Remember Jack tried to record? Jack's tried to record? Was days good? It was good. It was good enough for me. I mean, the Teresa and Kristen were facing off. Apparently they hate each other. Um, Who'd win in a fight? Maxi versus Nina in a fight. Nina. Jason knows about Jagger to check his ass. That's crazy. Jason showed more emotion to, to Britt than Bobby. Uh, no, that's not crazy. Because Jason got some... Um, Jason got him some of Britt, Okay. Rico against Carly. She ran the business for a year as opposed to Sonny running it for years. Make it make sense, Kyrie's. Well, like I said, Carly was more sloppy than Sonny. We all know that. Um, Maxie got the weight to take out Nina in a fight. Last day, I love Days of Our Lives because the storylines are moving fast. Jagger played Jason's ass because Jason didn't know John was actually Jagger Stone's brother. Mm -mm. So Jason didn't know Stone? I hope at least Sonny cook for Ava first. She should at least get some of his special sauce. Hello, out. What made Jason tell Anna on Kate's? Jason loves Carly. Jason got played. I don't know if y'all caught that. Someone please get the new GH writers at the table because the Jason hype comeback first two years pension is shit. Alex is great. He knows exactly what he said to Teresa. She is very jealous. Jason didn't know who Jagger was and know Carly wasn't sloppy. Jason was on the show when Stone and Robin were together. Jason lost his memory, remember? Jason snitched on Jagger because he got played. Hey, he got what was coming to him. I think Jagger has a screw loose like Megan Hathaway in day. Oh, I love me some Megan. Then in days obsessed over someone you went with, with in high school. Last day, eventually Alex and Teresa will get back together soon. When they shouldn't, because we all know when they have this wedding, that's when Teresa and all her lies are going to be exposed. I'm still trying to figure out Miss Wu's angle of telling Curtis Sonny had Jason shoot him. 
I know if I didn't know any better, I was saying Curtis was having crackhead tendencies again. Because Curtis, the world ain't about ain't about you. And I would love I would love nothing more if it come, if it comes out that it was his drug dealer that one the one that shot him that he still owed money to. Cause he was definitely a crackhead back in the day. And that crackhead, they run up money, they steal shit. All right, they ruin people's credit. They they do they'll do anything for that. So I'm just saying that might have been some years ago, but it didn't matter. He probably still owes some money. And wink, wink, he treated her like trash because he cheated on her with all her problems. Actually, you're right for once. J Jason is getting played by Jagger. Okay, so all her lies will be exposed if they get married. Jason thought John was a red regular FBI agent. He had no idea he was Jagger Stone's brother. And when he told, when he found out from Anna, he told her everything. That's why Jason banged the table. I thought about Spider Quake today when Curtis started whining again today. Exactly. Yeah, Spider Quake's delusional self yesterday said, um, oh, at least Curtis isn't whining. I'm like, in what world? Crackhead thinking never quite goes away. Change the brain. Uh-huh. Tell us how you really feel about Curtis. I sure will every single time. I don't have no compassion for Curtis. I'm not wasting any of my compassion on him. Why should I? The whole family are crybaby bitches, except for Stella. Stella's a good woman. The, the, the next thing that I will be exposed at Jude's christening is that Holly is going to confess to Eric, Nicole, and EJ on those drugs that that her is not taste this week, March 25th to March 29th. Where is Taggart? Um, somewhere drinking, drinking himself into an early death. It's crazy. How that was supposed to be Trina's forever dad. I like the wheelchair better than Curtis. Me too. I only feel bad for that wheelchair. That wheelchair can't get up and walk away from him like I can, like I do. I hope Jason tells Diane to get out of that mess. Yeah, that crackhead actually thinks Sonny put a hit out on him. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. <laughs> I love I remember. I love Alicia saying, there is no way Jason never doesn't know Stone because if you never met Robin told him about Stone. Alex and Teresa will make it to the altar because she and and Constantine will be exposed on Xander is Victor's son, not Alex. I can't stand Curtis how he did Jordan. Trina T Stella, Curtis, Portia, Marsha all cry baby bees, and Trina cries are really laugh laughs. Stella is a good woman. Trina was basically laughing at Spencer's grave. Yo, I went in on Trina yesterday. I saw myself on the replay. I'm like, well, god damn. What crawled what crawled at me yesterday? I was I was on one. I gave Trina all type of smoke yesterday. I still stand by it, but I was like, well, damn. I cussed Trina out yesterday. Robin was the only woman that made Carly jealous in Jason's life. Temptations movie, wink, wink. Jason knew of Stone. That was before him. Stop having Tabby cry when she can't effing cry good. Ow, ow, ow. I'm just saying, but my... Jason carried Robin off the nurse's ball stage that first year because she was still grieving Stone. Uh, I kind of want to see that scene. Oh, wink, wink. I did. I found that episode. I found a way to get the full episode. I got a bite, but it's like, it's so old. Like the only way I found it, it's like on DVD still. I would have to buy a DVD player. Like who the hell still has an old DVD player? 
I got to get a whole DVD player to watch on April to watch on April 7th episode of The Young and the Restless, the one where um, Drusilla died. I could buy it on DVD because Robin was an accomplished doctor who had something going for her. All Carly had was was um, between her legs. What is this episode? Um, it was April. I have a DVD. Hello, Al. I'm just saying. So Gemini still have a DVD player, but uh uh-uh. I haven't had a DVD player in years. I wonder if my mom still has a DVD player. I'll ask her tomorrow. If so, then I'll... Yes, I saw that site, but didn't do it because it looked unreliable, like you don't want to give them your credit card information. What about Amazon Prime video, Kyrie? I'll look for it. I'll still look. The two things I want to happen is soon is Nicole getting Jude back and Xander finding out he's Victor's son and lock away Constantine, Leo, Melinda, Salone, and Teresa for good. And it works. Hello. I have one too. Call me a boy. Um, that episode isn't available on Amazon Prime Video, but I'll I'll look again. I was the Amazon has old. I wish the Amazon has old episode of. I looked on Amazon, but why and I didn't go back to two thousand seven. Yeah, so we on the same page that 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 website where they want three dollars for it. That one. I have a DV a DVR is one thing, but DVD player. I'm talking about where I gotta get get a damn DVD player. Cause I, I found that episode of General Hospital over 10 years ago. Yeah, like General Hospital could be is still easier. I could get that right here on YouTube, but the young and the restless, that's much harder. Much, much, much harder. But if I can find that somehow, I will, and I will review it. Because I definitely got lots to say about that. That Phyllis killed Drusilla. I need to see that with my own eyes so I could drag Phyllis up. Yeah, the, the $3 DVD site, way overpriced for something with Phyllis in it. That's true. With Phyllis, she's barely worth two pennies. But I I might suck it up for a thing's sake if I could get that. I might do it, but I don't feel like paying no nothing for no DVR though. What is the episode date? It's April seventh. Um no or April fourth, actually. S- somewhere in between. Let me let me pull up. Actually, I could pull up, pull it up right now. One one second, y'all. I'm not ignoring anyone. Well, I watch DVDs. It's yep. It's April fourth, two thousand seven. That three dollar website. There's a website where I could get that on, on a CD for three dollars. But, um. The only reason Constantine forgave John is to put up a fake act that he is a sweet person in front of Maggie, but he wants to turn John into the pawn to go after his loved ones. Season number? Um, crap. One second. I have the actual web. I still have that website up. One second, y'all. This this is the one. It's on this website. They got it on a damn CD.
and it would be um, April 2nd through April 10th episode. Mediafine5.com. That's where I got 2017. Yeah, yes, that's it. Uh-huh. I was looking for, I'm thinking about getting it, but we shall see. But I got to see who actually has a DVD. <laughs> I th my mom used to have one. I don't think she still has that anymore. I'm pretty sure she don't. Jason will get out of this mess. And then LaShanta says, Phyllis didn't kill Drew. She fell. Sharon lied that like Phyllis pushed her down the stairs. Well, Phyllis is still evil. Alicia Tabby as Trina ran its course. Either bring Sydney back at Trina or have Trina get written out. Tabby ran its course as Trina. Why Kate's running in Carly's face? Because Phyllis was the cause of all of it. Yep, I agree. I didn't watch it yet, but I still agree with it because I don't like Phyllis. So Phyllis is the devil. And John can't remember killing Constantine's daughter, Katharina, and that's why he wants to go to Arya to turn himself into the authorities, but Constantine's been sneaky on his plan. Ava evil, Jordan evil. Jordan is evil, and Ava is messy. Because I know Tabby can play someone else and be good at it, just Trina ain't it. Well, that's your opinion, I guess. I mean, I know I went in on Trina yesterday, but that was yesterday. Today is a new day. Because I went off on Trina yesterday. But now today, I'm kind of calmer. I took my I took both my medications, so I'm calmer today than I usually would be. Since day one, I didn't like it. Oh, well. Yet you still watch. So She ain't that dang bad. Curry, let's be real. The only reason people fan girl Trina is because she's. But see, you're going to need to stop saying that. Okay? I don't care if that's how you feel, but I don't like when you're saying that because I don't like it. I don't like what you're implying there. So I don't like it. You're kind of drawing a line, and I don't like that line. It's to, I don't care. Ava isn't evil. John's advice from Laura before you fly to Greece, Laura, lawyer. Uh-huh. I'm just saying, I don't care about race. It is what it is. Oh, I meant to ask you this on the, who on the soaps right now do you think is good enough actor slash actresses to transition from daytime soaps to mainstream movies. Courtney, um, well, Cynthia Watrose, and let's see. You were very, very soft on Trina yesterday. Bull crap. What is Trina really crying about? We know Spencer is, is special. Um, let's see. I would say, man, I don't know about Max. Well, Maxie is good, but eh, I think she might as well just stay where she at. So what, Trina is black, isn't Joss white? Exactly. I'm just saying, I don't like him keep going there about race. You are not qualified to say that, to talk about our race like that. I'm just saying, let's not go there. Let's not get political. Let's not start talking like that because you're crossing a line. When you say that, Spider Quake, a very dangerous line that you're crossing. 
here's the good news that Marlena, I'm not being dish, but it's but it's borderline now, but it's borderline. Hey, Dolly Might X. Sasha doesn't do anything after Brando died and she stopped lying to Nina. But stop bringing race into it. It is though. Hey, hey um, I'm doing I'm doing well tonight. How are you? Like we should the point because the point of the matter is is that we should focus on no matter what the race of the actress is, and now Spider Quick is white. And no matter what the race of the actress or actor, I don't care. It's, it's about the acting ability. You don't like her acting ability. You just don't like her acting ability. You don't have to bring her race into it. And don't worry about what other people think. That's what you think. You just don't like her acting. It's fine. I like Sasha. I'm doing good. That's good. Joss is not the best young actor on GH. Exactly. But she sure ain't. And that's why she had no business winning that one. But I'm glad that Jason is um, told Anna something because we, we're finally moving the storyline along a little bit. I liked that. Did anyone notice how Steffi kept putting hands in her pockets? Do you think she she had snacks? Oh, oh, oh. The way it does have something to do with race is just looking at the writing. They're making Trina look the same kind of way that is off-putting. Same with Sasha. Facts, because that you never had do that with Josh, Cam, Spencer, and they're always so get off Trina's black hands. <laughs> Exactly. I'm just saying. Let's just say when we're talking about them, we're just talking. I was just kind of asking since he kind of brought it up. Exactly. I'm just saying. But you see, Spider Quick, you see what you see what that starts. That's what I was trying to avoid. But he doesn't know when to shut up, though. Jeez. Jesus Christ. Better be careful before you get banned. I'm just saying, that's a... What the F, damn. <laughs> but you need to make your point in a more intelligent way instead of doing that. It's colorism, to be honest. Y'all Y'all weren't like that with the first Trina. Like, be real. I'm just saying, I never... Like, I treated both Trina's around the same. He knows exactly what he's saying, but have the same energy for all the other white young actors on GH. Exactly saying that uh, the only reason people like her is because she's black. But that's crossing a line. So so do we only like Joss? So do people only like Jocelyn because she's white? No. Or do people only hate Jocelyn because she's white. No. So leave race out of it. Josh got a long ass face, but nobody says anything about about that. I love that Sally was defending her relationship with Adam to Audra that would never do do what Tucker was doing. Trina is black. Congratulations. Exactly. The only thing I talk about Jocelyn is she's hot. Joss is a 10. In your opinion, to me, Jocelyn's a 7. Joss is a dumb blonde, but no, no one says anything about that. Exactly. But oh, no, oh. But let, but let some people, let us start saying, oh, people only like Jocelyn because she's white. No. No, people hate Josh because she's Carly's daughter. Okay, 
But that's because she's Carly's daughter. It has nothing to do with race, though, does it? Exactly. That's exactly my point. Joss is dumb but hot. To be honest, nobody, li- no one likes Joss. I can't stand Jocelyn. Joss is a six. Now, Jocelyn is a seven, but still, Joss not dumb. Joss is very dumb. And so is Dex. Nick, Queen Nikisha, if you're still around, if that didn't scare you away, um, what do you think about Dex and his snitching self? I hope that didn't scare you away. Joss also has a nasty attitude. I know you are not sugarcoating who you don't love. He's like a queen. People can't handle the truth. Joss is really judgmental. It's annoying. Dex is beyond dumb. Exactly. Joss is sanctimonious like her daddy. I love Joss. Dex on my list. Uh uh-uh. uh. Dex gotta go. I don't like Joss because of the way she totally turned against Sunny. Dex is a snitch. Dex is the dumbest dude ever. He is the dumbest dude ever. And he really should have been eliminated. No one says Joss has white privilege. Exactly. We just talk about Jocelyn because she's Jocelyn. So we need to talk about Tabby. Tabiana has fans because Tabiana has fans. Trin- Dex is a um, wink wink says Dex is a bitch. Snitching on Sonny is one thing, but he threw Carly and Michael under the bus too. He loved Joss so much. Yeah, right. Hashtag Joss is not a 10. Because people, Joss don't have, she got money pr- privilege. Dex has a bird brain. He sure does. Marlena has a license to hypnotize John. I mean, she would do that with Everett to remember his past as Bobby Stein. Joss has blank and mob privilege. Sonny turned on everyone. How he doing Jason and he sacrificed everything for him. Well, this is what Jason should think about all the times Josh just got money privilege. Dex was collecting two checks and still snitched. Uh Uh-huh. He better not cash in that last check. I have a lot of characters I love and hate with purple passions. Like, exact, I hate Phyllis Summers with every fiber of my being. Like, ooh, I I think I'm the, but Christine hit the nail on the head that um, the world will be much safer with Phyllis behind bars where she belongs. Um, do you think this would, this might be the downfall of Dexter GH. Absolutely, Dolly might. Dolly might accept. It's about time. Dex is going to definitely go down for this. Once Sonny figures that out, it's RIP for Jess. Also, when's Joss going to be a nurse? She's studying to be a doctor, not a nurse. What are we talking about? Trina's mom is a doctor, and Joss's dad is a business tycoon. They're both privileged girls from well off families. And washed up Rockstar and Chris be gone. White blonde privileged spider. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sunny gone. DeWan said, no. I thought Josh wanted to be a doctor. Josh did want to be a doctor. She did. She wanted to be a doctor. But I don't see her having the brains to be a doctor. But it's funny how how um Spider Quick want to be quick to say Josh don't have no white privilege yet. He had no problem saying, "Oh, Tabiana only has fans because black because black people have to every black person likes has to like another black person." That's basically what you kept saying all damn day. See, I told you you were borderline pissing me off. You know I'm a ticking time bomb. If Dex gets caught snitching, then he will 
be swimming with the fishes. I like that. Josh should stick with business. Sonny lost with that snake Ava in his ear. Look, Ava is a good woman right now, okay? She's only worried about being a mother to her child. It's the truth. Okay, these people are like, because she's the only young black woman, please, okay? And people only F with Jocelyn because she's white. And then Jocelyn just has white privilege. Jocelyn's only living because she's she's a father of a white businessman, billionaire. If you don't recognize white privilege, don't know what, what to say. Exactly. I know what to say. He should shut his damn mouth. Ava is not a good woman, Kyrie, but she is, though. She's a good mother and a good woman. That is what she is. Ava Jerome. See what you did, Spy? Uh -huh, he did it to himself. He has nobody but himself to blame. So if y'all want to give him the smoke, go ahead. I won't stop y'all. I'm just saying. Shit. You need to learn when to shut his freaking mouth. And Daddy Jax wasn't shit. I'm here for the for the smoke. Only white people don't ever acknowledge white privilege. Exactly. You don't like Chanel or Paris either, but like Emma Barber. So maybe there's a bit of truth of what I said about colorism, just food for thought. Um, you're right. I don't like Chanel. I used to like I used to like Parrot, but you but you see I I don't like Chanel, but I don't necessarily dislike Chanel either. I just don't care for Chanel with the mama mama in Paris. She get on my freaking nerves with all her waffling and her annoying ways. But Emma Barber, that's my girl, and I I like her so much because of what what Thing did. Okay. Because what she did to my girl, her, her voice is about today. It was Chase's fault. He should have never misjudged and doubted Jason. If BOQ would have never canceled the wedding, but at least she will marry Chase. You might be here for the smoke, but Josh needs to get served. I'm just saying. Um, Brooke Logan sucks, though. She needs to call her daughter out for the trifling behavior. Well, it's not like I'm telling lies. It is like you're telling lies and, you're, and it is showing your ignorance. Yeah, you're innocent and everybody else is the problem. I I am about to skip all Chase and Brooklyn scenes. I can't, oh, I'm, I'm way ahead of you. I always skip their, ske their scenes. Three years, you didn't even know Emma Barber's name. Oh, I knew her name, Darby. I always knew her name. I knew her name from the day she died in 20, 2019 was the most saddest day of my life. Okay? I've been wanting her back ever since. They wasted Paris. But I did like Paris when she first came on. I'm like, she, because Paris looked way better than Zoe. Paris looked way better than Zoe. That's for sure. They wasted Paris. I do rock with Chanel. The mama thing is annoying, but she's supposed to be a Southern belle, so I give it a pass. When this wedding, why are people hating on Brooklyn and Chase? They're boring. I know her name, Darby. Dang, 2019, time is flying. Uh-huh. Emma Barber was looking gorgeous that day when she stood up to Thomas. Brooke is worried about securing her Forrester bag because once Bridge is dead, Steffi will kick all three of those all those freeloaders out of the company. She sure will. I don't like Chanel. I don't either. Because mama, mama, mama. So boring. 
Brooke said, we not have any good wedding. Carly and Jason. Carly and Jason. But Paris does, but Paris is a beautiful girl. I mean, when she got rid of that 10-year-old boy looking haircut, when they premiered Paris, they gave her a promo and everyone hyping her. Exactly. We liked her until they started writing her differently. Then that's when I stopped liking her. But if they write Paris good again, I'll like Paris again. But it's the way they wrote her. Which is Brad Bell's fault because Brad Bell sucks. But that's common knowledge. Everybody knows that. Brad Bell sucks. Always has. I hate to disagree, but Nicole, Sarah, and Wendy. Yes, I love me some Wendy. I love me some Wendy. Wendy is a good-looking woman. Yo, Wendy was looking hot today. I'm not going to lie. I was looking at Wendy. Wendy was looking gorgeous today. I loved how her hair looked. Her makeup was on point. Wendy's a seven for sure. That's the one thing I, I agree with this brat about is that Wendy is a seven. Bell messed Maya roll up. Uh-huh, making her some transgender. Guy, what's going to happen with Nicole since she's fired? I hope she gets her baby back and her, Eric, and Holly, and the baby could all leave the show together. Curry's, why you get mad at me? Because you run your mouth too much. You don't know when to stop. Um, Paris only comes in when they when they need her. Wendy's becoming less annoying and they are figuring out how to dress her. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wendy, really, Curry's? I think you're trolling your own stream. Ain't nobody trolling her own stream. Because when I say so, I say so. Wendy, really, I think, I, and and um, Alicia, ain't nobody trolling. I love me some Wendy, okay? Wendy is beautiful. She got it going on. I hope Nicole takes both her kids with her when she leaves. Holly is not it. Yeah, me too. Um, Nicole could definitely take Holly with her. I think Trina didn't want to be around Joss because she even, even Jason has shot Curtis and Carly and Joss know it would cover up to try to cover it up. Are you serious about Wendy? Serious as a heart attack? I love me some Wendy Shin now. I do. I love her. She's gorgeous. Holly can definitely go. Exactly. She's willing to let Tate roll her, um, throw his life away so she could please her prostitute mother. Um, at Kyrie's, I know that me and Darby made you see the light about loving Wendy now. Yes. Because every time, because um, Darby, because like, because one day, this is when the wheels started turning, when Darby said, Kyrie's, you give me one good reason why you hate Wendy this much. And when I couldn't give her, give him a reason, I was like, you're right. I don't hate her. I love her. Her prostitute mother. Yep. Her prostitute porn star mother. I'm just saying. Holly want to think that he changed his mind about Wendy. Uh, yeah, you damn right. Holly can take the gorgeous Wendy with her on. Nicole is not a prostitute. Nicole is a baby stealing porn star. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if she has a further background and probably off camera. She probably did pay pay a few got get a few. I'm still salty about Kyrie stealing Wendy from me. So I'm not mad at Trina. I think she's in the way and Josh gotta see the things from Trina's point of view. Whatever. Kyrie's Clark don't love Wendy. Kyrie's Clark loves him some Wendy. All right, Wendy's a good looking woman now. Like, did you see her in that red? Did she have on red today? Like, I was like, wow, she was looking good. Hashtag bring back Betty. 
you can have that cricket looking woman. Um, but but I'm sorry, I misspoke. Maybe Nicole isn't a prostitute after all. She is a um porn star. Fine, her porn star mama, baby stealing mother. How about that? Past time for the meds. First of all, JC didn't shoot little Bill. Trina was out of order. She has no proof. Jason saved her life too with Cam. Yep. They 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 are quick to forget. I heard Nicole had an abuse storyline. When was that? And who abused her? Baby stealing porn star is Sammy's nickname for Nicole. It's like Stephanie slept from the valley for Brooke. Might have to kidnap Wendy to get my Betty back. Don't you dare touch my Wendy. Um, you won't dare. Oh, and I'm st I still want revenge on Officer Goldman. Officer Goldman needs to get his. I mean, hers, and Clyde needs to get his. I do not like Clyde and Officer Goldman thinking they're going to get away with what they did to my Wendy. That was unacceptable behavior on both of their parts and a serious miscalculation on both of their parts. Nicole was a model back then when Eric was a photographer and to take photos of her. Nicole had a couple of abusive situations. Mm-hmm. Yes, Jason's. Are you daring me, Kyrie's? Don't don't start. Don't start with me, Darby. All right. Don't start with me. Everyone can back off of my Jason. Your Jason sucks. He's a horrible dad. And it's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. But tomorrow's episode of General Hospital is going to be lit. I cannot wait for that. Nicole's dad was abusive and also was the one one of her husbands was abusive. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Clyde needs to stay in jail because he killed people. Exactly. And then he kidnapped my Wendy. That was that was his. That was. Nicole was a naked model who wrestles naked with men. Wink, wink, when did, back in the day when Eric was a priest that he saved Nicole on her bad situation. Yes, the husband, who was that? Which husband are we talking about? Your Ava sucks, she's a bad mom, ask Kiki. She was a bad mom to Kiki, but guess what, Lashanta? She's a wonderful mother to Avery. How about that? Sam is kind of dumb these days. Sam has always been dumb. The abusive husband. Yeah, um, Dolly Midex, who was the abusive husband? Nicole is still trash. She helped Jan Spears build a cage. She kept shining back in the day. Yeah, Sam is got soft. What the F? Sam? I ain't never liked Sam like that in years. I haven't liked Sam since 2017, 2016, actually. I've hated Sam since 2016. So in one way or another, I have not liked that woman since. Except for when she was going after Gladys. I think the husband was Trent something. Oh, um, Trent something. Ava is making up with the one kid for the other trashy, dusty, old, old. Have you lost your ever-loving mind, Gemini? Coming at my Ava like that. Not at first. She used Avery so Sonny would not kill her. Well, she didn't, her old, her old sub wasn't planning on Sonny's old ass to get her pregnant. Okay, that wasn't the, that wasn't the plan. I said what I said. Well, you done lost your damn ever-loving mind. Ava has always been a great mother. That's questionable. But um, I have a theory that Clyde and Officer Goldman is going to target Chanel and Johnny on their honeymoon at the Horton cabin, but Chad is going to save them. Yep, I hope Chad beats Clyde's ass. Just beats him and beats him and beats him till he can't beat him no more. I mean, give him that good beat down for what he did to my Wendy. 
and Abigail. Just beat Clyde down and don't stop beating him until you can't beat him no more. Just beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. Great mother for sleeping with her daughter's boyfriend. Yep, old hoe. First of all, Gemini, her daughter left left Morgan for Michael. So why can't it Morgan? So Morgan chose to sleep with Ava. So so what? And then Ava wasn't done with him. So she had him again. Now what? I I think I honestly like Sam when Alexis had cancer and she slept with her stepdad, Alexis' husband and Sonny's brother Rick. Low down. I remember the Horton cabin is where EJ and Abigail's affair began. When Ava would not get a DNA test with Morgan. And Ava stalker ass desperate man killed her daughter. I already know I'm going to get irritated with Sam tomorrow for yelling at Jason. Just like I'm going to get irritated at Danny Morgan tomorrow. I'm going to get irritated. But I, I'll be happy when Jake beats his ass. Men can get women pregnant until their old asses drop dead, unlike women who are built for common sense. Bull crap. Well, that wasn't that wasn't Ava's plan. I think that Chad will rescue Johnny and Chanel from Clyde. Raph for murdering Abigail. She gave Kiki everything. She spoiled Kiki. Like I said, trashy, dusty hoe, then slept with her young boo daddy in the tube. Dusty. You done lost your ever-loving mind. Ava had cancer. Silas kidnapped Ava and took her bone marrow against Ava's. Gemini, you got Kyrie's mad because he's swaying his body like he's Stevie Wonder. I'm done. I remember when Sam slept with Rick. She was low down for that. Poor cancer-stricken Alexis had to clean up after them. Mm-mm. She lied to Kiki for so long, didn't know who was her real daddy. And her real daddy dropped dead anyways, thanks to Nina's crazy-ass mother. So Ava was protecting her, because guess what? Madeline would have killed Kiki, too. I'm going to love all the people who yell at Jason. Sam is worried about Danny becoming like Jason, but I'm worried about Scout becoming like her. Sam slept with men and swindled them out of their port fortune. I mean, their fortunes, right, Dolly? That was low down for Sam. It sure was. Sound just like a low down. That low down hussy. I will sway a white... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Gemini. Who's one of your favorites again, Gemini? Tell me which one which one is your favorite character? Don't make me have to cuss out Trina or whoever else. No, you told me to, no, you said F Trina too. So I need I need to know wh who's one of Gemini's favorites. I need to know who is one of Gemini's favorites. So I can get her. I'm gonna get her. We about to get Sam was worse than Jason in a way. Now, now she's mother of the year. You are my favorite. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm talking about the soap stars. I'm talking about the soap stars. I ain't a soap opera. So I need, I need on any one of those shows, you watch all of them. Young and the Restless, Days of Our Lives, and The Bald and the Beautiful. We're gonna get one one you like one of those heifers. I'm gonna need I'm I need a name. I need a character of who you like. I'm gonna custom out like no tomorrow. I'm gonna custom out. But I need I need a real name of who you actually like. People, including Kyrie's Clark, look at Jason like Mr. Perfect Bull Crap. This is the best soap on YouTube. No, Gemini, you're going to give me a real character's name that you like that I'm going to cuss out. I heard that Abigail might be coming back soon. Just let the dead stay dead. Shoot. You are the main and favorite character. I sure am. 
I'm going to be main and favorite when Felicia is a deadbeat mom. And she and to me, she's still a better mom than Sam. When Jason saw Sam and Rick, he was hurt and he ma made Jake with Liz. Good. But yet, he should have just, but that selfish bastard didn't wear a condom that night. You see? If he would have wore a condom, then I wouldn't have to be calling him a deadbeat. But sometimes condoms break. I know from experience. So. But still. Is she still here? Good night, people. Kyrie's, please get over Wendy. No. I will never get over Wendy. Wendy is the love of loves. She's beautiful, she's gorgeous, she's intelligent. Wendy saved herself. Felicia redeemed herself when she rescued Maxie from Peter, but she was a trash mom. I don't have a favorite character because all these heifers can get cursed out anytime. <laughs> what the F is a Betty? That's what happened with Jason and Liz. They got Jake. They are on Abigail Demera. There are hints that Abigail Demera is returning as Aunt Ann Lynn McCord. Let's hope you ain't a daddy yet. Mm. We shall see. Nine months. <laughs> oh, 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 I know Day's old character like Stefano, John, Sammy, Mar, Wendy versus Tracy Abbott. Tracy Abbott got it going on. I miss you too. And I'm still here. Yeah, Melanie's still around. She is still around. I think my favorite character might be Carrie Catch These Hands Brady. <laughs> But I still can't believe that Kristen put her lips on Brady. Like, if who would want to kiss him and why? I'm laying Sam back tomorrow. She all of a sudden, people should know Jason, Sonny, and Liz. Mm. Jason is boring for the most part. Okay. That's just the truth. She's boring. Kristen's too old to be acting like that, too. Exactly. And Brady is a four. Why is she throwing herself at him when he's a four? Just a four. That's it. Like, you're really going to do all that for a four? Kyrie's Clark, what, nine months? Ow, ow, ow. I want Tracy to have a more of a storyline. Let her be the one to catch Ashley acting crazy and get her committed. Jason is boring as well. I can't. Alex on days is a 10. In what world? <laughs> Jason never boring. Liz and Finn are boring. And then Melanie says, that spider quick, that's sweet of you. There ain't nothing sweet about that. About him. <laughs> oh, petty. Petty, petty, petty. Oh, no. Alex is fine to me. He's about us. He's an eight. I give him an eight. Austin was born very boring. The Austin character was a bust from the beginning. From the very beginning. Carrie slapping teenage ab. Oh yeah, I, I saw Carrie. She's um Sammy's sister, right? Wink wink, Alex is a 10. What is the DNA ish? L O L. I was joking. I don't have nothing in nine months.
I'm just saying. I was just just. Carrie is back on days. Lashanta says good night, everyone. Good night, Lashanta. Sammy's big sister. Yep, that's Carrie. I saw when Carrie punched him in the face. I saw a clip like that. That was a good one. You don't joke about child support. Of course not. I could tell Alex lays pipes very well. All oh, out. Nah, I wish she was. Actress lives in in Europe. Never liked Carrie. Was always a Sammy fan. Nice. I didn't know either one of those witches. <laughs> but what else happened on GH today? Was there something on GH that I didn't mention yet? Let's see. I'm about to pull up that recap. I'm watching all these old days clips. Alex worse than Sunny. If you say so. I talked about Anna and Jason. Talked about Sunny. Oh, yeah, Laura and Curtis, too. I fast forwarded that. But no, I did mention that with Curtis and his stupid theories where his whining. Yeah. So I spoke. And then Carly and Jagger. Look. Um Jason, Quartermain, whatever. Um he needs to finally get his head and lips out of Carly's ass once and for all. Like, what would it take? I forgot about Curtis and Laura's scenes. Me too. Because I fast forwarded them. Um, did anything interesting? Well, I, all, I, I, all I heard was a little bit of Curtis's crackhead theories. That was it. And then I had to fast forward after a while. Where's Tagger? Probably halfway dead. I gave GH a break. I listened to the reviews because this Jason storyline is trash. I don't blame you. I've been doing that for a minute, too, because Young and the Restless has been where it's at lately. The Young and the Restless. And Bold and the Beautiful has been stepping it up, too, believe it or not. Like, Phil... Like, I'm glad that Audra is done with Tucker for right now because she looks way too much better than Tucker. Audra Charles looks way better than Tucker. Way better. So I'm just saying, why is he sitting over there worried about Ashley so much when he had a woman like Audra? I mean, she looked good, but I wonder if she tastes that good in the bedroom then because... I'm just saying. Let Audra go to Nate, because I finally believe that Nate is a good man. And him and Audra could make a hot couple. Once and for all. And he can and Audra Winters, I like that idea earlier, wink wink. I think that was you who said that. I like that. Audra Winters, and I like the idea of Audra getting pregnant with Nate's baby down the line. I like it. I feel like Judah Mackey as Connor is being wasted as a character and deserves much better to shine more in the spotlight because now Chelsea is trying to convince Adam to send him away. Tucker is a player. He paid for Audra's education and she gave him the young cat, even exchange. I do want Audra pregnant with Nate's baby. Uh huh. But eventually, when they don't work out, we still getting um Nate and Tracy though. Cause Nate will still be carrying Tracy Abbott up those stairs. Okay. And they're gonna be making some hot good loving. Right, Darby? If you're still here in the background, Darby. We need to see Nate carry Tracy up the stairs. Because Tracy Abbott lost enough weight. So 
her and Nate could have uh, some hot love love action. Trina's hotter than Audra. Stop with the lies. <laughs> Here comes Wink Wink. Wink Wink says, so that's a heavy burden to carry. Stop with the lies, Wink Wink. I don't think the world can handle Nate and Audra having a baby, but I would love to see them try. Nate can't lift Tracy, but he could drag her ass up them stairs. He could lift her, okay, Gemini? Tracy Abbott lost a lot of weight, and you know it. So, um, y'all need to stop sleeping on my girl. My girl, Tracy Abbott, lost a lot of weight, and y'all know it. I could see Nate cheating on Audra like he did on Elena with, with Ice Princess. Nate wants Tracy Abbott's yep. He could lift her with a crane. Stop. He could lift her with his... With his arms, because Nate is a strong man. Let's not let's not forget, let's not discredit Nate now. He's a strong man. Okay. He can lift, he can get her up the stairs if he wants to. Okay. She lost her hair shrimps when she cut her hair. Uh-uh. Tracy Abbott used to be like 280, and now she's about a solid. It don't matter what, what she is, okay? She lost enough weight. Audra would make Nate's life hell if he cheated on her. She is his equal. Nate and Audra would probably produce the hottest person on the planet and would just know they would take over the world like Dr. Evil. 380, not 280. He ain't been damn strong in those stairs are a lot. 380, not 280. And stop with your lies, too, Wink Wink. You know you're lying. You know Tracy Apple was never no damn 380. She was not even close to 380. She ain't even close to 300. Let on three. Nate will lose his balls. <laughs> I'm dead. I bet you Darby disagrees with both of you, okay? Darby has my back. So I know he won't say anything because he, Darby has my back. He knows my girl Tracy Abbott lost weight. That's why Darby's extra quiet over there. And I know that Darby knows that Tracy Abbott lost weight. Daniel is back with moldy lips. Yep, and they both in the unemployment line. I can't wait to talk about that tomorrow. Wink, wink. All I saw was Nate and Odd. Now, Kyrie said, those stairs made of steel, wood splinters under too much pressure. <laughs> Look, I could see it, though. I could actually see Nate carrying her up the stairs. I mean, his face might be a little red, okay? Yeah, that girl. I, I need to make an AL-generated photo of that, Nate carrying Tracy up the stairs. That needs to be a thumbnail. Lily fired Daniel and Heather. She sure did. She sure did. She sure did. Carrie, I noticed that Tracy lost a lot of weight and she could see it in her face being smiled. Exactly. Her face, her body, her legs. Lily fired them. Yep. Nate will need a compression bodysuit for all that. I'm done. I'm done with all these lies. I'm gonna create a. I'm gonna work on creating a thumbnail of Nate carrying Tracy up those stairs. All right, it's going to happen. Because my girl Tracy Abbott looks good, and y'all know she looked good. She looked very good. But yeah, I, I agree with Chelsea. Send send the little brat away. Okay. Sorry. 
I know he's a kid and all, but I only have like so much patience for Connor Newman. So, and besides, I don't want him spending any time with um, Victoria and them um, and get any more snobby. Tracy's going to have that bedroom smelling like Thanksgiving. <laughs> Gemini, I don't have any compassion for Daniel and Heather being fired by Lily when she helped them both get a job at Chancellor Winters. Connor needs a thick belt. No, he don't, okay? He just needs some mental help away from that. So just send him, just send him on his merry way. It's about time Lily got gangster. Uh-huh. Tired of her being Miss Nice Girl. She had to let that B come out of her. Heather had it coming when she faked that concern. Talk about, oh, how's your daughter? Like, you know damn well Heather don't give a damn about her daughter. So stop with the lies. Mm, mm, mm. Stop with those lies. Heather is fake as hell. Very fake. I just break my heart for Adam opening up to Sally about his feelings on Connor. I know. Adam's like, how did I miss all this? Good night, my people. Hey! Hey! Everybody say what's up to Tamika. Did, Tamika, which which um shows did you watch today? Um, Nina wasn't on General Hospital, so I said fire to Heifer, and she did. She fired both of them tomorrow. Bald and the Beautiful, my favorite. Do you think that Thomas is going to get full custody of Douglas, Tamika? Like, there was no reason whatsoever for Lily, for Heather to come up and say anything to Lily. Like, you have Daniel, leave her alone. Exactly. I think my boy Thomas is doing the right thing. Me too. He's finally stepping out of, stepping into his own. Adam, you missed it because you were begging, busy begging for Victor's attention when you should have told him to F off. Exactly. F your old daddy. You want to worry about Victor, old ass, who will never change. Brooke will fight Thomas for custody and watch Liam involve himself. Not necessarily if he can manipulate hope. Hope is not really that hard to manipulate. So all he has to do is just put a little bit of pressure and show cave. Because she loves nothing more than being the victim. I don't think he would pull custody. He would break up with hope. Uh, but he might take Douglas with him, though. That's where they're hinting at. The only person that's been loving to Adam is having Sally by his side. And I love it. I love that he has Sally by his side. At the beginning of his this live, I said, Michael looks like he's been bad in bed. Adam looks like he's good at swinging, at throwing the pipe. Uh-huh. Hope got to work for that man. Everything I, I Thomas. Thomas could slap Hope one last time and take his son. <laughs> exactly. Just get her right after that. Have her sign those paperwork real quick. Be like, yeah, baby. Could you just sign this real quick? Oh, it's something for hope for the future. When what she really signed was her parental rights away and then let him go. Let hope work for that man. He's been given. Same with Steffi. Fire to have a Thomas to hope. But Steffi is right. Those Logan women can't be trusted. Thomas need in return. Mm -hmm. uh 
I'm just saying. Thomas Forrester finally had enough of hope in all her shenanigans. Ivy is coming back. I heard that. And I think Thomas used to have a thing for Ivy, too. So. Her time. Wait a minute. But she's his. Well, they're not blood related, so. She's going to regret this. Thomas was her star designer. She should have just kept it professional. She sure should have, but she decided to kiss him in Rome. That's what started all this. So she shouldn't have started what she couldn't finish. She knows that boy was crazy. But I'm hoping, but hey, if he could snatch his son back from hope, then so be it. Take Douglas and go. That's what I say. Power to you, Thomas. But all right, everybody, I'm going to call this stream a night. This is a very fun stream as always. Good night, my lovely Tamika. Good night, wink, wink. Um, Steffi can fire Brooke and Hope. I wish. Good night, Dewan. Um, Hope going to cry, think, ponder, miss that man, but really catching up. Thomas. Snatch some cat and leave with his with his son. Yep. Good night, Gemini. Good night, Darby. Good night, Melanie. Good night, Dewan. And good night, Dolly Midex. Good night, George. And good night, everybody else. This is a very fun stream. I will see you all tomorrow night. Have a great night. Peace.